So if they close your account, the best thing to do is to give it time. Give it 30 days to 60 days before you even think of appealing it. Why? Like I said earlier on, there are changes they recommend you do. There are changes you need to do. In fact, when you are appealing in the form, in the form there, there are changes they will, they will ask you to make. Not that they will ask you to make, they will ask you what changes have you made on your site. Do you understand? They will ask you what do you think caused this? What do you think is behind this? And what changes did you make? Do you get my point? So the first thing you need to do is to wait. So that even if you are not ready to make any change, or even if you are going to make the change, when you come back and tell them, I have done this and this in the last 30 days, they will believe you because they will go back and see that from the time the account was closed and the time you are appealing it, there has been gap. And within that gap, you must have done what you said you did. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to wait. Give it time. Don't rush. Number two, you need to um, expressly state what you believe costs the ban. Now, they need to know that you actually know what costs it. You don't, you, you don't just come up and say, um, uh, this account was banned and I, I think I should have it back because there is money inside. Who burned your papa? You get? They don't, they don't want to hear that bullshit. They want you to tell them exactly what you feel you did wrong or what you know you did wrong. For instance, you can say, um, I started getting traffic from Facebook, for instance, if you are getting from traffic from Facebook. I started getting traffic from Facebook, so um, I started promoting my content and getting traffic from Facebook. So I believe the, the amount of traffic or the volume of traffic coming into the site must have led to the invalid traffic which led to the closure. That is if your account was closed for invalid traffic reasons. Do you understand? Sometimes your accounts will be closed for having duplicate content. Duplicate content means you copied your, your site articles from another site to your own. Okay? So you, you, you copied or you stole somebody's image or somebody's um, music or, so, or anything and you were reported and your account got closed. So in that kind of scenario, you need to clearly state that... Um, a member of your team or yourself mistakenly, you know, posted this thing without going through the right method, like getting the copyright, um, copyright, uh, what do you call it, permission or something. Okay, so you need to carefully state um, what you believe you did wrong, or what the email they sent to you said is wrong. Okay, so before they close the account, so you need to state that. Okay. So tell them, this is what happened. This is what I believe happened that led to the account closure. All right? Then number three, you need to tell them what you have done about that problem. Because asking them to restore your account is easy to do. It's very, very easy for anybody whose account is closed to just come back and say, restore my, excuse me, restore my account. But on what ground? Why should they restore your account if you have not taken care of the problem in the first place? Because if you have not taken care of the problem and the account was restored, it's going to be closed back again. So they need to hear you say something like, I've made changes. These are the changes I have made. For instance, if you were getting your traffic from um, several websites, you can say, I've stopped promoting my sites with these partners, these third-party partners. When I realized that their traffic uh, wasn't um, top-quality traffic, that their traffic was majorly bought, I stopped promoting but it has already been late or it is already too late. It was already too late by the time I discovered because my account has already gotten closed. You know, stuff like that. You need to state what you have done. I say, okay, if, for instance, um, it was closed for, for having duplicate content, you would say things like, I've gone through the site using copyright, um, uh, what do you call it? Using um, plagiarism detectors. And I have discovered all of the content that were truly copied from my site by my copied from other sites to my site by my admins, by my writers. And I have taken my time to delete every single one of them and as well as written an apology letter to the people whose content this member of my team copied. So they need to hear you say something that you have done about the problem. If your site was closed for having a, what do you call this one? Uh, do, is it uh, empty screen? There is this empty screen or low value content or something like that. You need to clearly state what you have done. For instance, you can say, um, since then, my, my, my 
you know, we stopped publishing for a period of time and our accounts got closed. Maybe for one year, for two years. For those of you who, the last time you published the article was since the day of Pentecost. All right? So, and your accounts eventually get closed or maybe get deactivated or anything. You can say the last time this, uh, or the last time we published content was so, so and so time. Maybe because you traveled out of the country. Or maybe because a member, the, the, your writer, your main writer resigned and it took you a long time to find a replacement, a perfect, a perfect replacement for that team member. Then now you have a team member and this new team member has written 30 articles in the last 30 days. They need to see it. They need to hear it. And they will see these things on your site. You don't just say it. These things must be real on your site, which means you must have published those contents within the last 30 days that you where um, you know you were busy working on the site before the appeal okay so they need to hear you say stuff like that you don't just come up and just appeal no these are things they want to hear sometimes you can even go the extra mile and say my traffic came from so 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 places you mustn't give them the full detail but you can just you know touch 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 here and there here and there and when they hear you say things like that they will go through your analytics to check. They will be sure. They will see stuff like that. They go through your um, your site record and everything with them, and they will see that truly you were getting traffic from here, but you are no longer getting it. For the last 30 days, your traffic has not come from some, somewhere like this. Because if, if if that doesn't reflect on your analytics with them, that is on, their, on your data with them, they will still not restate the accounts. So they need to see that instead of getting traffic from here, which led to the closure, you are now getting it from this angle. And once they see that consistently on your site for the last 30 to 60 days, the account may likely get um, reinstated. All right? Now, apart from these things, on your own, you need to work on your site. Change your team, if it's possible. Work on your SEO traffic, just the same way you have always done. Work on your SEO traffic. Work on, you know, your ad placement and all of that. If you still have the ad codes on your site anyway, if you don't, you can remove them, get rid of them and apply. Now, I'm not of the opinion that you should remove everything when you want to apply. No, I don't, I don't advise people to remove everything AdSense code when they want to apply. I would rather tell you, if you had plenty of them, like two numerous of them, you can just reduce it to one or two here and there. Do you understand? And this doesn't mean that any other person saying you should remove them, that they're entirely wrong. They're simply saying what has worked for them. But this one is what I believe is working for me. This is what has worked for me. Okay, so just take out one or two. Just leave behind one or two there and then apply. So that if you were getting these invalid uh, uh, clicks on your account or invalid traffic on your access account as a result of invalid clicks, by the time they check, they will see that you have reduced the number of um, uh, uh, ad placements on your site so that you minimize the invalid clicks you are getting. All right, so you tell them I've reduced the number of ad placements. Okay, the, the reason I was getting invalid uh, activity on my site or invalid clicks or invalid traffic was because I had numerous adverts. I had, and they were so close to each other. Now I have made changes. I've reduced it to just one or two on the site. And also I have labeled them. You state these things clearly. My ads are well labeled for users to be able to know and click on them on their own choice as they find them um, interesting or as they find them useful to their needs all right so they need to he hear these things and you need to make these changes actually on your site before you appeal okay so if you do these things and as well as write fresh content not those ones that were there since how many years ago you need to write fresh content you know 20 to 30 new content on your site now if you do these things there is there is there is a high chance of you getting your access accounts back now before you say ah i don't have the time to do this i don't think it's going to work give it a shot you never know how effective something can be until you give it a shot so go and try and let's see if you get the accounts back good luck to you